I've been a member of the Art League of Highlands since right after it began. It was organized in 1980 as a support group for area artists as they became increasingly creative. The purpose of the group is to serve the community by supporting originality in adults and with special emphasis towards supporting children and their development. Our Art League is encouraged to become a part of the Bascom, our shared vision which has identified our town as being one of the finest in our country in the visual arts. It's the outreach, the networking, the exposure to the different types of people. We just have such a love for the arts and we want to help the artistic community, we want to help the children which we're doing. We have a wonderful children's art program and we want to be able to help the Bascom. It is a way for the community and artists and even people that are just art lovers to get exposure to a lot of different kinds of arts and different kinds of art artistic philosophies. As an art league, we hold monthly meetings during the season and we have the most excellent speakers that we can find, usually from this surrounding area. Craftspeople and artists come together and um, people hearing their stories and it's open to the community so we like for people who are just maybe even walking in and visiting the galleries to have a seat and listen to a speaker. I like to be able to have a presenter that gives a little bit of their story on how they create their art, showing their creative process, how it's unique to them and how they actually discover the creative process within themselves. A wonderful artist did a presentation for the Art League on natural pigments and it shows people the beauty and natural things within the earth that can be used for an art form and the way that she does it. It's, it was very inspirational. The Art League had a presentation by a woman that did amazing architectural glass. The Knitter tonight, I mean wonderful world experiences. We've had paper maker. Paper is just precious when you make it in, just from the pulp and you take it from the plant and turn it into paper. Just like fibers taken from the sheep of a wool, for instance, and turned into a beautiful sock. I think that it's just interesting to have that sort of transformation and to let people see that. I really think of myself as a fiber artist that uses knitting as my, as my medium. You know, I really feel strongly that some of the traditional crafts, if you will, can be seen in a new light. And just because knitting has been going on for thousands of years doesn't mean that it has to be interpreted in the same way it's always been done. So I'm hoping that people can look at knitting as just a new art form. I think a lot of people do get their eyes open when they look, if, they're not, if they've never been a knitter, for instance. They may have only been exposed to knitting caps and knitted gloves and socks. They may not have seen the wild and crazy socks with all the embellishments that Charles Gandy has knitted. It's an exposure to people who may not see these things except in magazines.